Okay, so working on the next section here on the arpeggio. Just put a little melody together. Doesn't sound very good yet or anything. Um, we'll probably end up changing it, but this is just to help us set up the arpeggio. So. Obviously this note right here is really off, so we're just going to slide it over and drag this one over a little bit, and we're going to pull this guy back a little bit here. Okay, so just like that, that's fine. We can play with that. So alright, we got a little bit of a melody going. Um, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, put this up here. did was I took the, the same track that I used here, right? And I just dragged it up to the arpeggio. Now, okay, so we're going to go ahead and play around with the settings of the arpeggio now. Let's go ahead and see if I can I'm just going to turn that down for a minute and focus the camera here. Alright, so in the arpeggio view, you have a bunch of different settings that you can use. Um, so, I don't want it to snap to anything. I'm going to leave it on none. Um, the octaves just gives you more notes with your melody. In different different octaves, right? Different tones. So let's go ahead and put that on two. Now um, you have different directions you can do. So up, down, up, down, auto, up, down, and random. So let's do down. So it's just reversed. Now let's do up, down. Now let's do auto. Okay. Up down 2D or D2. Up and down down to random. And then all. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select up down for now. So I want to change the tone of this because I think it's too high, so I'm going to go to the top and change the transpose down to 12. And what's happening is some of the notes aren't being captured, so we need to adjust the key limit and bring it down. That actually will play it lower now. Let's see if we can bring down the lower. Okay, that's that's okay. So some other things you can do around um, the So that's like, it's a lot faster, you can tell. Right? Really fast. Different speeds, right? I think 116 is usually the best, actually, truthfully. And then you have, um, this is the length. See, it's getting really short now. Uh, it's probably not going to get any shorter than that for this particular sound, but... So, just to give you an idea, um, these are different, different lengths of the sounds. Okay. So, that is basic arpeggio. And now from there, we can add in 
I'm adding a bass drum. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to go down to instrument 2 and go down to the bottom here. Go to I.O. and select stereo, logic, select, um, let's do ultra beat. Ultra beat opens up. So there's ultra beat and let's find a drum kit that we like. And I like the, where's it at? UK house kit. I think the house kit, the UK house kit is pretty, pretty good. So um, we're going to go ahead and put in a beat real fast. So just click in here. Nothing new. It's what we did before. So open that up and scroll down and find C1. There it is. And it remembered what my note length was. So from the other strings we were working on, the sound, the RPG we were working on. So Put a beat there, put one here, one here, one here. Okay, so that's four beats. And then hit space bar. Okay. So now you've got your bass drum. We need to make a copy of that. Since we already selected, just click at the top on two. Right, the little yellow line moves at the end. Do control C, control V, V, V. Right, four times, so it matches the length of our arpeggio. Hit the space bar. Okay. Let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit more, so let's change our tempo. A little faster. So, now let's say we didn't like that arpeggio, and we want to do something different. Like the space, I don't like the spaces in here. It doesn't sound right, so I want to fix that. And just drag it out all the way over to the end. Same with this one. Okay, let's listen to it now. Yeah, much better. Okay, that's cool. And don't forget to do file and save. Add some more percussions in here now. Um, okay, go ahead and do some percussion. So I'm just clicking on the drum track and repeating it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this track and drag it up to the top. Keep my drum tracks together. I'm 
different sounds. Okay. I'm gonna stop this and we're gonna start up in a minute again. <laughs> 